everybody. I'm Leah B. Jackson. I'm here with Megan Sullivan. What's up, guys? And today we are looking at a game called Mousecraft. Mousecraft is a puzzle game. It's out uh, for PlayStation 4, 3, Vita, and PC. We're playing the PC version of Mousecraft today. And as you can see, your basic goal is to uh, guide some mice here up to some delicious cheese. Now, uh you do that by using these Tetris blocks, and the mice, they automatically walk. I let them go out of this little uh, contraption thing here, but they automatically walk, and it's up to you to use these Tetris blocks to help them get to the cheese. Now, I did that bad because you also want to have them go into these blue anima shards. Okay. Now, what are these shards? They're just shards in the world. Um, they're actually, it's not very well explained it's basically you need the shards in order to progress through the game so i'll show you here in the um in the map if we exit to the map real quick you okay. can see um so this is the first sort of level and then in order to get to the second level i've completed the game so it's all unlocked for me right now but you need a certain amount of shards in order to get to these later sections okay and are those cogs they represent the shards or just like the different parts of the of the level so the sh the cogs represent how many mice you saved um or how many mice you were able to get to the cheese, basically, okay. is what that means. So a gold means that you got all three mice, a silver means you got two mice, and a bronze means you got one mouse. Oh, okay. So as you can see, as I got further along in the game, I became less concerned. It gets with, a little hard. Yeah, it, got, it definitely gets hard because as you get further along, there are these more hazards. So we can pop into a later level, um, and I can kind of show you what happens here. So in this level, a lot different than the first one. Um, now you have water that you have to get through. You have these types of bricks that will explode if your mice run into them. There's Ooh. also some enemies down here that can get your mice into trouble. And you have sort of all the different type of Tetris bricks uh, that I guess that you wouldn't already know about if you've played a Tetris game before. Like, these are the right. common bricks that you would always see. Okay, why is there a mad scientist cat in the background? Yes, so this is Schrodinger, the cat. And Schrodinger? He, he is the only sort of character in the game besides the mice, but unfortunately, this is all he does. He doesn't move around, he doesn't interact with your mice in any way. So basically, he's the mad scientist with, who has all these, like, crazy experiments set up for these mice. Exactly. Um, but that's all he does. I wish that he sort of would have, like, reach in to the to the mice, to the mouse cage or experiment cage, if you will, and sort of, you know, prod your mice along or something, but he doesn't do that at all, um, and I, I don't know, I, I didn't like that as much, um, but here you can see me placing some bricks down, um, and then we can release the mice and see what happens. And the levels, go, some levels, you know, you can move, scroll over, they, they get longer. Right. But you can dynamically change the environment as you go along. Like, you don't have to set it up and then release them. You can maybe move stuff around while they're exploring. So what you can do, so those mice were all about to die because <laughs> they had been in the water <laughs> for too long. So um, so what I did was use the nice reset feature, which is a, a cool uh, feature of the game. You can just press a button and it resets everything. Um, you can press the backspace button and undo anything that you previously did. But what okay. you can't do is place a block and then move it around. There's, I see. There's one type of block that you can do that with um, later on in the game. But um, not in this, not at this point. So this is not the best puzzle to show this off because I am not doing it very well. Um, but well, it shows off how challenging it is. But yeah, I mean, you can see that it's definitely a challenge. Uh, I can just put these blocks like this, and then maybe um, put a block here so that the mice uh, get this anima shark. Oh, I see. So, so yeah, so now we can release the mice and you can speed it up. You can also, um, there's a handy freeze frame, so if I wanted to place this one between these two so that only one mouse okay. goes over, you can do that, um, which I, I liked. 
Now, hopefully that they can get up here within the 10 seconds. I see. So that's a, that's what I'm looking at. It's a counter for how yes. long they can stay underwater before they die. Indeed. And so they got up here. Now, if I wanted to, you know, be a little bit more of a completionist, get all the shards and everything else in the level, I could have used all of the Tetris bricks that were available at the top right. and then guide them around here so that they could have gotten this uh, shard and the bomb and done more things. But that's sort of basically the gist of uh, Mousecraft. Is right. You want to use the bricks to get to the cheese eventually. Right. Um, and here I just unlocked this acid obstacle, so in the next level there will be acid. And the acid Ooh. is just another type of uh, hazard, kind of like the water, except that bricks disintegrate when they go into the acid. Oh, I see. So if I... Uh, destroy that brick with one of my bombs, this little rat thing is then going to fall into this acid and die. Yeah. Bye. I see. And what happens if it doesn't? Does it attack your mice? Or what yes. does it do? So, exactly. So, um, if, if I would have released my mice and they went anywhere near those, um, rat toys is what they're called, those little evil robots, then they just instantly die. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, and then I destroyed that those with a bomb, but as you can see, um, these are disintegrating in the acid. And this cat is sinister. Like it's like acid and water and what looks like electricity. Yeah, he's he's a pretty bad guy. Um, so I'm just gonna reset this level real quick so that I can uh, actually try to solve this puzzle real quick. So I would, I believe, if I release the mice, they're just gonna walk down here, right, and then up through here. So I would want to get rid of this. Um, but I think I might have done it a little too soon because uh -oh. all of this is going to disintegrate before my mice get over there. Oh no! And then they're going to disintegrate too. Oh no! Too. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Yeah. So Poor it's a little mice. sad when they. Uh, they when have that the cutest happens. little ghosts, though. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty cute. Um, so let's try that one more time. Uh, hopefully. Oh no! Oh no! So oh. that's what happens. Um, but this now you can kind of see what happens when two little mice go right. over there. So I mean now they're going to walk into, oh no. into the acid. <laughs> so you can kind of see how timing is definitely um, important. And there you go. Like if they all die, then Schrodinger has a little animation effect kind of thing. Um, but that's about it. Oh my gosh. So what just happened there was a problem that I've had on playing with PC. I um, I will often, when I want to reset a level, you have to press R to do that to sort of reset the whole thing. Right. And then, but E is the button that you use to release the mice. Oh no, so, so they're right next to each other on the yes, keyboard. Yes, they're right next to each other on the keyboard, exactly. So you can see how that sometimes can become an issue. Yeah. Um, you know, if you press a button too fast, it's like, whoops. Yep, so, uh-oh. Okay, so at least this one mouse <laughs> looks like he's going to make his way over All right, here. and you just need at least one mouse to get the cheese to yep, pass the level. you just need one. Only one needs to make it, right. so, uh... He's going to be our lone survivor. Hopefully he'll be our... He'll make it over here. So, um... I mean, we're not going to get a shard, but you... See, if I did that, he would jump down here, hopefully, mm -hmm. and then up here. Um... So let's, let's see, see how that works. will work out. We can speed that up. Yep, and he made it, so we'll get you know, credit for this level, um, but we won't get all the shards. Aw, so, that's too bad. But, but we saved a mouse. Yeah, we saved the mouse, so that's good. Um, and I, that's basically the gist of the entire experience. In this level, you have to create a bridge, it looks like, to get over this acid, but it's tougher than it seems. Right. Um, so one other quick thing that I wanted to show you the um, is the level editor. So if you, um, as soon as you open the game, you, you have access to the level editor and you can just create your own fun sort of puzzles and you can share them with your friends uh, through Steam. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, so let's say, you know, I'll make a very, very simple one right here. You know, that's the mouse. Um, that's their little cheese, and they have to, you know, we'll make, you can pick the bricks that you want, you know, people to be able to use, and so we can put that, they'll be able to use this one, or this one. Yeah, I like that feature, that's really cool. And then, yeah, and then you can test out, um, pl please reposition the cheese. 
Okay. Oh, well, fine. So, Do that way. Fine. I'll reposition the chairs. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to clear the level. We're discovering things as we go along, Indeed. Folks. There we go. Okay, so it's much easier to reposition the cheese than I was even making it. Now, how many official levels are there besides the ones that you can sort of create and edit on your own? So there are 80 levels total oh, in wow. four different of those stages, um, like I was saying. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, here's that level that we just created in the level editor. Very simple. You know, they, we don't even have to use any bricks if we don't want to. Um, but just showing how simple it is to make a level and then see it in action, right. which is cool. So anyone can basically make a level. It's not too difficult. Yeah, it's not too difficult. Uh, we did it in two seconds. So yeah, I mean, that's Mousecraft in a nutshell. Um, it's a fun game. Check out our review on IGN.com. And for more on upcoming PC games, keep it here.